Hi everyone, I am Josh. I'm your Attic Insulator. Today we will be talking about the ceiling lights and how to uh, properly uh, air seal them. So there's a couple of tips that uh, I'll be talking through uh, with the video. Alright, so here's the video. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to see further uh, attic insulation tips, uh, please click on the subscribe button below, and uh, for any video that you do see, uh, definitely give that nice thumbs up so that you support this channel and everybody else uh, in the world can see the awesome attic insulation tips that I share with you on this channel. All right, so as you can see here, this is one of the examples why it's so important to air seal your attic. So this is a nice light fixture that we just installed. And if you can see outside, it's pretty windy, right? You can kind of see like the, right? You can see the ripples here. Basically what happens is I can sort of feel my finger getting colder. And so that means that there is a little bit of an air draft right there. Okay. Obviously that's the light fixture electrical box. And it wasn't, um, it's just a standard one, metal one. I have an R60 above this. So pretty close to two feet of insulation or pretty much two feet of insulation. And I'm still feeling an air draft because again, that box is not air sealed, has a bunch of holes. Uh, just like those metal boxes have. And uh, fiberglass insulation does not resist uh, airflow. Like eventually the air will make its way through, especially if there's a big difference. Like here right now, it's 73 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And outside, it's around five degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go with 40 degrees Fahrenheit, close to there, 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. There is quite a bit of a difference there, you know, sort of a 20, to 30 degrees Fahrenheit delta with the airflow. What happens, you've got more air that's going through the attic intake. And so that means that any loss of heat that goes up right through this little cavity here, it's exponential because now you've got even more airflow that's going through that's also getting rid of the uh, top heat from like the fiberglass loose fill. And so that's carrying even more heat loss and more momentum uh, through the uh, loose fill uh, fibers. So that's uh, unfortunately what happens then obviously as it gets colder uh, in the winter. So minus you know 10 degrees Celsius, minus 20 degrees Celsius, you basically have the same sort of issue uh, where you will definitely feel an even greater draft. And so that's why it's so important when you're, say, say if you're removing uh, your insulation from your attic space, you get yourself a silicone, caulking gun, expansion foam, you seal up those cracks so that you don't have a air transfer from the um, conditioned space into the attic space. In the summertime it's going to be the same thing but the opposite so the heat is going to try to force its way through and again it's going to find those little cracks so that's basically what happens. I know that there's a lot of videos out there with uh, spray foam. The closed cell spray foam is definitely an awesome product. Obviously it's expensive, but it's a long lasting product. If you can afford it, definitely spew out the cash for that. All right, so with that, um, hopefully that you learned something through this video and uh, we will see you next week on Tuesday.